I read an interesting match. Gordon Ryan is going to take on Bo Nickel in a grappling contest. And that sounded pretty cool to me. Bo Nickel never done grappling before. Gordon Ryan, the, the greatest grappler. But Bo Nickel certainly knows what he's doing when it comes to wrestling, which is a huge opponent, component of grappling. But here was one of the things, is they changed the rules for this match. So it'll be a 15-minute match. I don't know what this organization generally calls for. No heel hooks allowed. So they take away one of Gordon's big weapons. No pulling guard allowed. And there's a point system, which means every time Bo Nickel takes him down, which he will do in theory, he will score some points. Gives Bo a way to go. I'm interested in that. I would be five times more interested if all of a sudden some backstory comes out and Bo has been doing grappling for the last six months or more. All of a sudden it would pique my interest more. I don't think we're going to get there only because he was so busy and so active in the public eye training for whether it was the world team trials or the U23 world championships of which he won. I have to tell you, it does annoy me to no end that it's even possible to do a match like this. Not Bo Nickel versus Gordon Ryan. They've done nothing wrong. One of the problems with grappling, and the reason grappling will never end up on Sports Center in today's state, is because you can go into an organization and they change the rules. You either compete under the rules of the event or you don't have an event. And I'm not trying to shine and blow these guys off where they're grappling. I'm trying to give them their plug right now. I don't know the name of the event. But an event that would operate with this low level of integrity is not an event that I would ever know. Look. In the world of MMA, we've seen this. We've seen organizations come in and do special rules for special athletes who demanded them. Guess where those organizations are today? They're archived on a shelf that you can find on a dot-com somewhere. They're not still in business. Adversely, there's never been a game in the NFL where they changed the rules because one of the teams preferred it. There's never been a history of the NBA or Major League Baseball where they've modified the rules of their event, sacrificed the integrity of a promotion because of a request of an athlete. It's ridiculous and it's absurd. I could be a world champion right this second, right now. All I have to do is make up some rules for this little room I'm in, not tell anybody else, not let them in, and then declare myself world champion. I mean, if we're just going to make up rules or if athletes are going to hash them out, there's no integrity and there's no event. All that said, I'll, I'm going to watch these guys. I'm very curious in that, particularly if I find out that Bo Nickel has secretly been training this. I mean, don't forget it. I, I got to go back to 2001, and I realize that it's a different sport today, but if you were to go look at Mark Kerr, who did not have any belt of recognition in jiu-jitsu and went out and won Abu Dhabi, not only in his weight class, but in the super fight because he understood submissions well enough. He was big and strong and could get top control, wasn't afraid to grind it out. I mean, there's something to be said for that. There is a history where the more dominant wrestler wins these things, which is certainly Bo Nickel. I mean, it's interesting. You juxtapose that with the fact that Gordon Ryan is the greatest out there doing it right now, loves to stay busy and loves challenge. you have something exciting there. But for an event to wonder why, as a leader within the industry and events and promoters do lead the, they're still on, it goes promoter number one. Fighters and managers and representatives down here. When a promoter lets the fighter take charge, it's the inmates running the asylum and you wonder why we can't ever get any recognition. You wonder why these two guys won't be on Jim Rome, they won't be on Levitard. They won't be covered by the major media companies because nobody knows what the hell your rules are, including you, who set the rules. Uncle